perpendicular, parallel, vertical, horizontal, lines, movement defined. Well, I decided to try finally to learn about, to try to figure out that stuff, perpendiculars and such. For example, the other day I attempted to take my dog on a perpendicular walk, attempted. I saw a woman walking her dog and tried to figure out the angle of that walk, but could not. Not quite. I looked at her coat. It looked like wool. That, that observation didn't require figuring, though, just my senses. Well, I've always liked the smell of wool and its texture, its weight. I even had an impulse to lay my head on her shoulder and breathe it in, wool. And a woman. I, I wouldn't do that, of course, much too familiar. I haven't, haven't been in love in a long time, a long time. Maybe not since the young woman who worked at Horn and Hard Art, maybe even since then. Actually, it was her day job. We all had day jobs. She was a dancer. We were all dancers. At least most of our friends were. Although there were so many dance companies. Once the front page of the Times Arts section had the headline, New York City's Dance Gridlock. Well, that's not a bad gridlock to have if you're going to have a gridlock. Dance gridlock. The work itself was hardly locked, though. It was unbelievably freeing. It was being very happy and being a little afraid at the same time but it was gliding, flying, and physically demanding, and we demanded a lot of ourselves. Put our lives into it. We were in love with it, in love with one another, and I, for a time, was in love with a perfectly beautiful girl who worked at Horn and Hard Art. She wore a crisp cotton uniform there that was freshly starched, and, and I liked that smell, as well as the smell of wool. But I don't think they use much starch anymore. It's not entirely easy to say much starch, much. Oh, the color of that crisp uniform is two sharp triangles, lines to find the stuff I'm trying to learn about. But after the day job, she smelled of linen. And I like linen. It's soft and strong, real texture in the fabric. It wrinkles nicely. I even like the word linen. And it's easier to say much linen than to say much starch. The other day, the other day it was rainy and cool, and I was mulling over, considering my new commitment to definitions. But I began to drift, drift off into thoughts of women, of linen and starch and wool. And I attempted to dance. I haven't done that in a long time, but I did a little, just sort of moving from side to side, back to front, and not dancing, strictly speaking, but still a bit happy and a little afraid at the same time, remembering, gliding, flying. And to my surprise and delight, there was not too much starch in it. <laughs> <laughs>